Okay, my name is Dennis Richard. We're here talking about uh, the benefits of amino acids and we're going to introduce uh, more information about uh, peptides. This is something uh, most everyone's aware of the amino acids and there's some idea of their benefit. Uh, but peptides is something that I've heard the word, but I have no idea of its meaning. Uh, this is September 27th, uh, 2009, and my friend uh, Patrick Carbo is uh, here from Europe. He's going to explain how this works in conjunction with uh, the uh, amino acids. So would you uh, explain that to us all? Yeah, I will do that. Okay. Um, if, you, if you're talking about protein, you're talking about very, very large molecules, which have to be digested by, uh, by enzymes in your stomach. So it comes through your mouth, comes into your stomach, and your stomach has to make on those enzymes um, very small particles, which are one, two, or three amino acids together, called monopeptides, bipeptides, or tripeptides, three peptides. And those particles, only these ones, who are digested and cut in those very small particles, are able to come through when you're when you're uh, healthy. They they are able to come through the the intestinal wall into the blood. All the other ones which we cannot digest simply because it's heated and they're not there and are active anymore or mutilated by the heat. They they you are your body doesn't recognize them cannot uh, digest them fully into those small particles and they will just leave your body. Our product has only the smallest of amino acids, uh, so they are fast-tracked through the digestive system, immediately taken up into the blood where they go where you want them to be, the muscles, and in every cell of your body, make your body work better. Okay, I, was, uh, I had a friend I was talking to this morning who pointed out to me, you know, back during World War I, World War II, uh, the army uh, was, uh, money was always tight, of course, and the army was uh, realizing that uh, beans were, uh, was a very good source of protein, but the body couldn't break it down. And they uh, didn't understand why the science hadn't developed to that point yet, but they did find out by adding pork, and they made pork and beans became a real staple for our armed forces during both World War I and World War II. And that pork protein uh, apparently provided some of the enzymes. Is that, uh, would that be correct in stating that, or is that peptides, or however, whatever? Uh, uh, but by adding the pork to the beans would help break down and utilize the protein better in the beans. Well, beans and uh, even soya beans, which is the best provider of all vegetables of protein, doesn't have all the amino acids in them. And as I explained earlier, you don't want to be left out with one because if you need... Um, amino acids are like a symphony. You, the symphony is playing and every time a note is played, you take that and hang them up the board. The first time you don't have that note which is going to play, the symphony stops. Your body stops doing recovery, stops doing everything. You don't want to have that. Beans just don't have all the amino acids. so you have a shortage. Recovery isn't there, energizing is not there anymore, mental health is, is hampered, weight management is hampered. Uh, all these things which are important for you and your body are not going to go as they should have, go, uh, should have gone. And that is very important. Make it optimized and pork does do it. Meat is the most, uh, has all the amino acids in them. So that works better and that will bring energy on people. But again, if you're getting older, your, your body has more and more difficult making those enzymes to break that down into the proteins and peptides by breaking it down into those particles which can be taken up into the body. And that means that if you don't have them, you're getting into a downward spiral. You don't have the peptides, those peptides are needed for every cell in the body, but also make those enzymes which break down those those things. And if you don't have them, you cannot. You have less enzymes to break your the, the pork down, and you're getting in a downward spiral. You want them, you, you 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 want them to have those peptides working in your body as soon as possible. Okay. Now, what's the difference between uh, the amino acids and the peptides? Um, amino acids is. Um, 
Well, there's a commercial uh, difference because everyone calls his product amino acids. But what is essential about amino acids is that it's the bioavailability. Can, uh, does it, is it put to work where, how I want it to work? All those powders which bodybuilders take or a lot of uh, like milk or cheese or everything, they, they are very difficult to digest. Um, studies have been made recently um, and, and been done by Harvard, Oxford and the bigger thing. I've seen that um, older people in general, uh, um, starting at 45, eat less and less protein. And that's going to affect your life. Um, they've, they've shown that you're losing like muscle mass, like 0.5% uh, to 2% per year. And if you want to get old and have a, an active life, you need those muscles to walk for your digestion system, your, your, your lungs, your heart. You want everything to function properly. If you're losing 2% per year heart muscle mass, you don't want to be doing that, not even half a percent. You want them to be there. Holding on to muscle mass is possible if you're getting enough amino acids and that keeps you maintaining a healthy life and an active life. And in my view, um, active life means quality of life. Right. I totally agree. Now, one thing that I would like to point out right now while I'm thinking about it is that the proper way to take this would be best results 15 minutes before you eat. Is that correct? Well, well yeah. Um, as this product can be taken in any situation, it's good to, to maintain a situation where you uh, have a, um, um, a three times a day, just divide it over the day. So before, uh, before eating the first time, uh, in, uh, in the morning, in the, um, during lunch, and during dinner. I just wanted to point out that in June, I was in the hospital for four days. And when I got out, uh, I lost 34 pounds in 10 days because they, they blew me up with 19 pounds of saline. And uh, so then I, I just, when I got out, I couldn't eat or didn't want to eat. And I ended up losing 34 pounds in 10 days. Well, look at my muscle. Now I'm showing this right now because I'm expecting that we'll be doing more of these segments as time goes on. But I, I expect this product is going to help me regenerate this muscle loss. Because I mean, right now, I've lost all my muscle tone in a few days. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable to me. I mean, I, I just cannot believe that I still have fairly good definition in a, my calves, but they're soft. Those were as hard as a rock in June before I had this problem. And I'm, I'm blown away how rapidly mm -hmm. you can lose it. And my expectation is your product will help me gain it back in a short order. So anyway, we're about to uh, uh, wrap well, this segment up. May, may I say something about that? It is. It is. Uh, we have extensive information and 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 results with uh, uh, with bodybuilders. And as any bodybuilder, which is only busy with with muscle mass and building that is good, will tell you that not only training, but the most important thing is eating well. If you don't eat that. Those, those proteins and those amino acids, you won't be building muscle mass. You will not be having any endurance in your muscle. So building up that and giving the, the right food to your muscles, I don't know, that's something we need. Does your car work without, without gas? No, it doesn't. Do you expect your muscles to work without protein? Well, that's not going to work. Okay, well, thank you for listening to us on uh, MMSDR.com. Uh, we'll be right back with another a segment to, to pursue more information about this. My name is Dennis Richard. I'm just putting this disclaimer in that as a food supplement is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent diseases. Most of us in the alternative health field understand that only our bodies can heal itself and that this information is put out for those of you that have an interest in accepting responsibility for your own health to do your own research.